Okay.
Hello. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to the stream. This is the first of several bass lines that we'll be looking at. As I was playing through this, I thought it'd be kind of cool to do like a do a looper thing with this. Probably a little loud. Let's crank it down for just a second so you can hear me a little better. But hello. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to do. Um, so first, we're going to do just a small jam on this one. This is the first bass line from. Well, first of all, I guess I'll start by saying this is the John Sass Baseline book. It's really cool. has a bunch of bass lines from some of the songs that John Sass has put, made. Um, John Sass is a tool player, um, in case you didn't know. Um, yeah, and he's just cool. He's like, he selected some of his works that he's done, some of the bass lines he's laid down, and he has like just breakdowns. There's like a harmonic study, uh, rhythmic exercises, and then the full like bass line, and then an encouragement to write your own. <coughs> but it's really cool, and um, I don't know. Well, I guess it's partly because I have two of them, but bass lines has kind of been a thing that I've been trying to focus on more because bass lines are cool, they're fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, but we're gonna do like a little jam on this for a minute. And then we'll go through how this book's laid out. I'll move on to Blue Lights, which is the second one. Oh yeah, this one's called um, Outside, Inside. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
So that was my little improv on outside inside. <laughs> um, yeah, but I think it's a really cool book. It's um, it's it presents these baselines in a way that's really easy to approach. It starts with some rhythm rhythmic exercises, and then it has harmonic study on kind of the harmonic structure that's harmonic like scales that are you the scale chords whatever that are used in each bass line um yeah but i'll i kind of demonstrate with outside inside um and i know at least for me when i've been practicing especially for outside inside the the time signature for this one is in seven four um <laughs> so there's a couple of these especially i had to really um use a metronome to help me kind of establish like oh this is where these are because that has quite a few syncopated things like there's one where it has like two quarter rests on off beats in a row in seven eight or seven four that to me at least were weird to get and they're still kind of weird but yeah but yeah so here are the rhythm exercises for this exercise i'm just going to put a metronome on over here I'm going to do around the tempo. I'll do a little bit faster than the tempo. Cause tempo they recommend is 60, but 60, yeah. But it's also kind of, hold on. Oh, that's very loud. Hopefully that's good enough to where it can come through. Yeah. Yeah, the tempo. The tempo he um, recommends to work on this with is, oh, let's switch. Okay. Um, the tempo he recommends to practice this with is um, 60 for the rhythmic exercises, which makes sense. Um, you want to always practice slower. Um, but then he lists 69 um, for the final thing. Uh, and the tempo went up at the recorded, the rec the accompaniment tracks that you can find online. Um, it's a little, not a lot, but it was a bit faster. So I don't know. We're just going to go 65, but just to kind of showcase this. Yeah, but those are all the rhythmic exercises. Each one of those rhythm measures um, has just a repeat symbols around it. So you're kind of supposed to like just practice them until you get them. Um, I think the second to last one was the one I struggled with the most. Um, yeah. <laughs> da, 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 di. Da, di, da, 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 di. 
da di. <laughs> yeah, kind of tricky for me at least, <laughs> um, but still very fun. Um, yeah, and here's the harmonic study for outside inside. Miss that one note in the fifth measure, yeah. But yeah, um, although that's I don't know. I guess he kind of just was talking about like these are the scales that he uses, but he doesn't really use. Well, I guess the I don't know. I'm talking nonsense, but it's just weird that there's like all that movement there and then the final bass line is more just the rhythmic exercise and less of the harmonic study but anyways <laughs> Yeah, but here's, let's go, oh, I should have had it up. Give me one second to pull it up. Is it here? Yeah, here it is. Okay. Yeah, but it is all the, it's really cool. All the accompaniment tracks are just on SoundCloud. <laughs> so don't have to worry about me not having, me having a, a CD drive to play all the, the discs. So that's kind of nice. But yeah, here's the original version of that. Do you know that big bargain detergent jug is 85% oh. water, right? 85% water? I thought I was getting a better deal because it's so big. If you want a better clean, can I... We don't need to hear the... the ad. <laughs> I didn't even know that SoundCloud had ads. I mean, I guess I don't use SoundCloud a lot, but I don't remember there being ads, really. Mm. Okay, now we're good. Let's go here. <laughs> Yeah, it's so cool. Now let's listen to the, um, yeah, and just a quick clarification on all this. I don't own the rights to any of this. Um, this is just kind of out there. Um, of course, I bought the book a while ago, but um, these are just kind of freely available out there. Um, yeah, all copyright goes to John Sass and Editions Ben. So, yeah, here's the, and here's the um, click track around along that you're supposed to, like, play with. Five, six, seven, three. <laughs> 
try that one more time and I think I'm gonna focus um take the time during the um because it's like half it has a click track or like click in the first couple of hours and then it has the just the like that I think it's called a tabla because the instructions say that there's 16 bars of tabla and then 16 bars of the original aha tabla instrument yeah that is instrument it's a pair of twin hand drums from the indian subcontinent and are similar in shape to bongos cool yeah so that's what's happening it's a tabla yeah so i'm going to do we're going to do this one more time and then we'll move on to blue lights and this time the focus is we're gonna do some of the bass line of course in the first the first half of it. Um but I think I'm gonna focus more on just improvising in that general like structure. So here we go. Mm-hmm. 
presents a tale of longing oh. and long-lasting scent. One of two? Okay. That's so wild. Hmm. Who knew that uh, SoundCloud had ads? Oh, this... Okay. here <laughs> all right one more time <laughs> yeah this might be the only one we do today um because I'm, I'm already well let's at least look at blue lights a little bit yeah <laughs> and yeah troubles with this. Thank you. 
come by yeah and that was um outside inside by john sass um pretty cool little thing um <laughs> a lot of fun really tricky with the seven eight or not seven eight seven four um even though it's kind of similar but anyways yeah yeah thanks for coming by um john do you <laughs> i appreciate it yeah a lot of fun okay let's look at the next one a little bit um the next one is called blue lights um, yeah we're just gonna I'm just gonna go through these rhythmic stuff just to kind of get in the groove of it yeah but here we go oh, I'm gonna put this metronome back on Kind of a well, we'll go a tiny bit faster than what's written as the bass, but oh, <laughs> well, thank you, I appreciate that. That means a lot to me. <laughs> yeah, just trying to do my tuba thing, which involves uh, electronic stuff sometimes, and bass lines, and occasionally classical stuff, <laughs> but yeah. Thank you so much for coming by. <laughs> but here's blue lights. Just going to start with some of the rhythmic exercises to build into this. <laughs> the notification okay <laughs> thank you again John Deere <laughs> I appreciate it a lot
with just all the random tuba sounds. All right, cool. Feel pretty okay about the rhythmic stuff. Some really, <laughs> some really interesting um, syncopations there, but. <laughs> Um, now here's the harmonic study, which is just kind of switching between, uh, if you're interested in this stuff, I mean, it switches between F, um, F major 9 chord into an E major 9 chord and an E flat major 9 chord. Just kind of going up and down. Thank you for stopping by, John Deere. I appreciate it a lot. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, two was just what I um, chose, or yeah, chose, and I've just stuck with it. Two was fun. I like two a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it a lot, um, and I especially appreciate the subscription. Thank you so much. Let's give this bass line a try. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
That's right. <laughs> it is tuba time. Thanks for coming by, Jonathan. I appreciate it a lot. <laughs> We're just playing some bass lines. Um, this one I'm currently working on um, is called Blue Lights. Um, yeah. <laughs> That loop was from a from the intro, but yeah, let's listen to um, the blue lights. Let's see what the what John Sass did. <laughs> Try it with the backing track. The new Christy Mel Taco oh. is now a taco. What? <laughs> I turn on the lights. I turn them on for you and everything you do. They were all blue lights. Okay.
guess that's a song I don't know. Or is that just something you made up on the spot? try this again yeah yeah there's i didn't know this about sound because we were listening to this on soundcloud um oh oh i see yeah i see it okay okay um <laughs> uh, yeah i we're listening to these like these reference recordings on our click track things on uh soundcloud and apparently soundcloud has uh has ads i had no clue it's been a while since i've last used soundcloud uh, but soundcloud apparently has ads mm-hmm. so i'm confused about this soundtrack two one thing we'll play i'll play the um let's do uh the first one we did which i think you missed all of jonathan um could be wrong but um yeah we're gonna do outside inside one more time and i think we're gonna call it for the tuba portion of the stream yeah but here we go here's outside inside
but that's outside inside. It's pretty cool. But yeah. I think we'll do more of this. I really like these bass lines. I think I'm I'll probably work on doing some sort of like overdubbings of my own with these. I think that would be pretty cool. Um but that last one was really tricky. It's in um well, not really tricky. It's actually somewhat simple. But the tricky thing about it is that it's in 7-4. So you just have to constantly count to 7. Which is kind of annoying. But it's fine. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. That's that's just a couple of little um, bass lines from the John Sass bass line book. Who is this week's Artist of the Week. Ooh. Okay, that'll probably be fine there. But yeah. Okay. Cool. How are you doing today, Jonathan? Well, I hope. Let's close out all of these. And then we'll put this here. Alright. Gotta launch up. Power wash. Ooh. We already have the listing for um, the Midgar special pack on on there. Huh. Cool. Nice. That's fun. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Just been chilling out, you know. Doing the stuff I needs to do. Okay. All right, can I put that over there? And I think while we're doing this, I meant to do this last week actually. But I completely forgot about it. Forgot about forgot about it in the moment. Um, so yeah. But um, the 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 rhythm. Oh, I need to turn that off. Um, the at rhythm Final Fantasy came out today, so I'm trying to focus on the games I already have, so I'll be tempted to buy that immediately. <laughs> Fair. Very fair. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna. I'm gonna put on some music in the background. Where is the artist that I wanted to play? There it is. Okay, we're gonna. I'm just shuffling um, Lily Peachy's music because I know she's. She's. I've seen her say that her music is free to play. Um, but it's really fun. Chill vibes. Anyway. Just gonna put this on the background. Because as much as I like just hearing the, the power wash sounds, it does get kind of empty just hearing the power wash sounds by themselves. But anyways, let's do this. We've got 22% left of this. This will be great. <laughs> oh, wait. I probably have to switch to um, the music for the, the other one. I mean, she has pretty good music. I think this is the right one. She's a pretty rad person. There we go. 
Good. There we go. Now we're actually showing the game. <laughs> yeah. But the music is very chill. Hopefully it's... I mean, it's okay if it's loud, but I don't want it to, like, cover up me and the game too much. But anyways, let's finish this up. We have 22% left. Oh, we're going to probably get a notification from... Yeah. Yeah, she has, like... She has a good amount of stuff. Yeah, because I guess, I guess you know her from uh, Genshin, right? Bringing the voice actor of... Uh, who is it? Sayu? Yeah. But yeah, she has some really awesome music, I think. Um, it's very chill. But yeah. Okay, where are we going to start? Actually... Let's go... So I think we left off up here. So let's go up here and finish this. Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've mentioned her some to you. Yeah. But yeah, she's music. She's a, she plays piano, I think is her main thing. She's also a really good singer. But, actually, now I think that's too loud. Audio, water volume, reverb mix. Uh, tone, volume. It's a little better. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna finish this up. Um, I'm gonna get to the that part, but I figure might as well do the ceiling, I guess. Yeah, there's some. Oh, nice. Get it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah, it is. It is a lot. Let's switch to the long extension. There we go. Yeah, the trios is a big one. It's a very big level. <laughs> but yeah, this one, this one also. They just, I mean, they just get big. Oh, here we go. Lorecroft, lastly, I should mention what looks like a harmless old record player. Yeah? What about it? It's actually the gramophone of Mendez, a devilish tool devised by the mad monk Rasputin to play records backwards, enrapturing the souls of anyone within earshot? That's what this does? Oh no. I almost wanted to turn this on. Oh, it nem okay. It's just a gramophone. Why you joke with us, with us, Laura Croft? I believe I trusted in you. Now I don't know if I can trust you anymore. 
Jeez. I was convinced that it was uh, Rasputin's and it actually raptured everyone's souls. It's... Jeez. That Laura. But yeah, all the, the trios is big. I know that one took me a while to do. Just have to take it bit by bit. Focus on the parts, the individual parts, not the whole. Like, I'm just gonna clean this one part of the floor, and then I'll go back to the ceiling. I got gnomed? What are you talking? Oh. We're on about this? Really? <laughs> no, it wasn't a gnome. It was just Laura being... If Laura told you that, would you believe her? If she told you that the... The grandma that she had a gramophone that belonged to Rasputin, um, and actually uh, messed up your soul. Would you believe her? I would believe her. But I don't know. I guess that's just me. I guess I trust in Laura too much, which I guess is a problem. Probably shouldn't trust real people who aren't real. I don't know, it's fine, probably, right? Yo, you shush. You, it, well, you know, fine, I'll accept it, but... How could you not trust, um, Laura Croft? Like, let's be real here. She's a pretty cool person. Yeah, see? <laughs> what I say. Alright, let's go let's go unveil um this this thing. I'm very curious what this is. Oh, this is the the Ankh necklace that she talked about in the last one. Cool. We're gonna make this all really clean. How's this table not clean? Is there like a underside? Yep. Yep. And I think that's it. Okay, now we just gotta get this floor. Let's finish it up. All right, we gotta eliminate the traces of Laura's BMX bike or her four-wheeler. That's what it was, four-wheeler, not a BMX bike. And it'll be clean in a jiff. Hell yeah. I think the next one is probably let's clean up the dinosaur or should we save that for last I don't know I don't really care to be honest but yeah let's do this cleaning up cleaning up we got this um, yeah, got the floor. Let's go. All right. Let's finish the ceiling and then we'll finish up the, the rest. Actually, no, let's go up here because I think there's stuff up here. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. 
Where's the part of this window? Oh, right there. There we go. Okay. Let's get it. Alright, we got this. Cool, that bookshelf is clean. Now let's get this part. Almost got it. Yeah, this probably won't take too long, to be honest. But I don't think I could have finished it the other day. Don't think I had it in me. There we go. Now I think we're all good up here. Let's just go ahead and clean this whole area. Switch to the extra long. Okay, we got this. Um, and that should be good, to be honest. Yeah, we can't reach the end over there. We got the rest of it, which is pretty nice. So we don't have to worry about that. Alright, let's switch to the short extension. So we have a little bit of range. But we can also just get this over there. Alright. Get on the dino's back. Get on the dino's back. I know it's a different quote in the actual game, but it's not a hydra. <laughs> cool, we got that. We're getting this. Look at that, 90%. Get up on the dino's back. There we go. We got the ceiling support on that side. Now let's get this one. Yo, chill. We already referenced it. <laughs> I know he says it a bunch in there, but you don't have to say it a bunch in my chat. <laughs> there. Cool, got both of those. Alright, let's switch back to the short extension. So we can just tackle this area right in front of us. Well, I know Phil isn't, but you're not Phil. Right? Or are you Phil? I didn't think you were, but... Who knew? Yeah, I know! We got this! We almost there! Just clean this up, and it's gonna look glorious! Laura's going to be like, yo, you're the best ever. Will you come with me on your, on my next game? And be like, yeah. And then there's going to be a whole like, power wash sub story in the next Laura Croft game. Let's go. <laughs> Probably not. But that would be pretty awesome. If they reciprocated and they did have like something where it was like some reference to it. 
Damn. Got him. <laughs> Alright, switch to the long extension. So we can get this from down here. Alright, cool. Yeah, do we- wait, is that the whole ceiling? I think so. Okay. Let's get the floor. All right, move this out of the way. Yeah, I'm just focus on getting like this side. All right. Yeah. There we go, we're getting it. We get in there. Man, this is power washing a rug. I, you know, I'm probably ruining this rug by doing this, but it's, I mean, if Laura really wants that, I guess I'll do it, sure. I'm just gonna get that one little bit of that. I'm gonna go ahead and just get the border of this pedestal. And then I'll also just get the border of this pedestal. Which I think I got the rest of it. Yeah. Let's go. Almost got it. Yes. Alright. Yeah, let's go. Rug clean. Okay, let's check out what's in the last case. Wow, look at that. It's nothing. <laughs> uh, I think we I think we got the back side of it. Yeah, we totally just power washed the back side. Uh, let's see what. Let's really unveil it. It's a dagger of Xeon. There we go. Uh, can't read any of it, but it looks cool. It looks very cool. All right, now we just got to take care of the di the dinosaur. Nothing hype. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, what are the odds that I just um, freaking unveil just the backside of a display case? I guess the odds are like fifty-fifty or so, right? But still. <laughs> Or I guess the third chance, 33% if you want to be technical. I don't know. I don't know, man. But we can this dinosaur real clean. You're going to be... Because remember, this dinosaur is real. Or I guess it was once real, and then she had it stuffed by a taxidermy or whatever. Or wait. Hmm. You know, her deceiving us with the 
the gramophone makes me doubt her now. So I'm not sure if this is a real dinosaur anymore. Hmm. See, this is what happens, Laura, when you when you feed us lies. You make us doubt everything else you've done. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I could never doubt Laura Croft. Even if she does doubt me once. Doubt me once, we're okay. Doubt me twice, we're still okay. Doubt me three times? Yeah, we're fine. I mean, it's one of y'all, probably, but Laura Croft is different. She's special. I'm just kidding, you're special too. <laughs> Not in the same way as Laura Croft, but you know. Alright, let's do this. Look at that nice fine layer of dust. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, sorry to put dude down that. Didn't mean it. Love y'all, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it a lot. I think we gotta grab the ladder. Where's the ladder? Um, right there's probably good. Alright. There we go, we did it! Woo! Look at this place. We got... Iris? Don't know what it is, but it looks cool. We have the Atlantean Scion. Pretty sure it's Scion, not Skyon. Um, we have the uh, Amulet of Ra, I think, and some cool daggers that correspond with this um, this armor pretty cool armor and then of course the gramophone which is which um, used to belong to Rasputin and if we play something on it, it plays it backwards and raptures people's souls no I'm just kidding Laura tried to try to sell us that joke um, we got some lapis aka the um, phosphorus uh, what is it philosopher's stone yeah and then finally those daggers then oh and of course we can't forget the golden gnome no I wanted it to stay in there oh well stay no no <laughs> okay. close enough <laughs> and of course the t-rex which um, Laura said was real Yeah. Let's see what it looks like. Woo! We did it. So many memories. So many adventures. I cannot thank you enough for bringing them back to life. Perhaps it's not so indulgent to keep reminders of our proudest and humblest, most humbling moments. Our legacy is what grounds us, good and bad. In fact, it's made me itch to add some more to the collection. I think it's about time I paid a visit to my old friend, Von Croy, after all. Thank you for everything, Laura. Wow. What a... What a person. Laura Croft. She's awesome. Um... You know, let's keep streaming a little bit more. Uh, let's do some of these challenge mode ones. Why not? Sure. Let's just start with... Uh, I guess we can do time. 
Let's do the time challenges. I feel like the water challenges are kind of... I don't know. We're going to do the time challenges. Oh, you just use this? Okay. Bet. Let's go. We got this. Two. One. Blam! This one. All right. All right. We gotta do this. We can do this. I, I forget. Oh, three minutes is the gold. Yeah, we got that. That's easy. Easy enough. Go, 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 go. Swipe. Swipe. But yeah, the Lorecroft DLC is pretty rad. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, really cool stuff. If you're a person who likes um, Laura Croft, you'll like it a lot, probably. <laughs> Plus, just power washing more stuff is a lot of fun. Speed boy. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really trying to go for any world records or anything. I'm just trying to test my test my might, as you will. Let's go with uh, this, this, okay. Actually, what else do we have? Oh, we only have that one, okay. That's fine. You know, I could have also sworn there was like extra, um, like clothes and uh, like cosmetic things that you got from this in the lower craft DLC, but maybe it's... I have to go check the store now that I've completed it all. Let's go. Alright. Um, so, glass. gonna get this record but that's fine There we go. Dang, 18 seconds over. Oh well. But still went pretty well, I think. For my first, like, try it, like, speed running one of these. Okay, let's do the dirt bike. This one should be a lot easier. Switch to the yellow. Alright, let's see if I can actually get the gold on this. I feel like it won't be too hard. Well, I say that, and I'm gonna spend like the next 10 minutes on this. Oh, 
What's left? What's left? What's left? What's left? Oh, there's that part. Um, uh, dang. Come on, what's left? What's left? Right there, right there. Oh. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I don't know where it is. Oh, right there. Dang, seven seconds. You know, we're going to try that one more time. I think we can do it. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so it seemed like the last time the thing that got us at the end was was these tires. Um tires and kind of the underside of these like plastic bits. So let's focus on getting some of those first. I think we should get it this time. Okay. Alright. Good. Alright. We almost got this. is left. No. Where? Where? Break disc. What is the break disc? Uh, break disc. Front fender. What? What part of the front fender? Oh, right there. Dang. That was worse. Yeah. Yeah, this song is about Sayu. Alright, we're going to do this one more time. Regardless of whether how close we get to it or not, we're going to move on. But uh, I, I think I can I think I can do this. But yeah, this, that, that last song was um, Animal Skies, I think was it's, what it was called. Um, Animal Skies by Lily Pichu. Pretty good song. Um... Because she's Lily Pichu's also a streamer, really has a lot of followers and stuff. It's really great. Does art and awesome music. Well, I guess they're kind of the same, but in art and like drawing stuff. <laughs> but she also makes music, which is all really good. And she voice acted for one of the characters in Kenshin Impact. Oh god! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, panic. Panic. Where's what? What is left? Obviously, there's a lot. Exhaust. Uh, whatever. We're not gonna get it. But it's it's fine. Swing arm. Which swing arm? This the swing arm? There we go. Dang it. Well. Yeah. Well, well, she made... I don't think she made that song for Genshin. Well, obviously it was about Genshin, but I don't think she was, like, tasks by, tasked by Genshin to do it. She just kind of made it on her own. I don't know. I could be wrong. But... I think that's right. Whatever. Okay. Uh, let's do the golf cart. Um, time challenge. Two. 
two, one, go. Um. good. Let's get the other side of that. Gotta get the other side of these. Um, ch -ch -ch. Tire. Which tire? Which tire? There we go. I think we definitely got that was was that the gold? I think that was the gold for that. Yeah, gold. Let's go. Cool. That one is easy. Let's do the motorbike. Do all these just have the no this one this one gets some more. Okay. So it's just the first couple that had those. Got it. Okay. Let's go. Go. Um, all right. All right, we got this. Gonna clean this all up. Well, we got a lot of time for this one. What the hell? We're already almost done, and we have two more minutes. Or three? Mm. Point is, we'll probably this probably won't take. This, I think this one, the gold for this one, should be pretty easy. Yeah. Oh gosh. Some there, bits there. Okay, I see. I think most of the hard part of this, getting this in time, is just the all the corners. So other ones have been really small, pretty easy to figure out. Um. Yeah, actually, this one might be hard to get second thought. <laughs> uh, it's fine. All right, we're almost there, though. We have a minute left. This actually probably is going to be possible. Um, right there. Uh, what else do we have? Right there. Ooh. Oh, we got bits around the light. Or the mud guard, I guess is what that part is. Alright, where, where's the bits? Okay. Where are the bits? Give me the bits. Huh? I don't see any of the spots. 
What is... What? Okay, we got that. You know what? Does it... We got the exhaust. Fender. Spoke. Swing arm. So... One of the exhausts. Oh, yeah, I see. Fender. Is this the fin okay? I got the exhaust. Well, I thought it was a shoe in, but is this the what is the fender? Fairing. Oh. Right there, and then the spoke set. I'm probably gonna redo this one, but I'm just gonna look, looking around. Wait, is there? Okay, well. <laughs> one more time. I just gotta be very detailed with this one, I guess. Yeah, let's try it one more time. I got this. Yeah, we'll do two more after this, and I think we'll call it. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be detailed from the start just to try to get everything so we have less of the running around at the very end where it's like oh what is this what are these things somewhat detailed at least we are gonna have to go back obviously but I'm gonna try to eliminate some of that at the very least yeah thanks for the support yeah I got this it'll be fine I just gotta go for it. Um, all right. I'm already doing really good, I think. I mean, we're about the same situation we were last time. We're already at, um, like, close to being done I think we're in a good spot for this. Alright, I'm going to switch to the turbo nozzle. So I think that'll help me get all these and finish it up. Alright. Dashboard. What is the dashboard? Oh god. Okay. We got something there. Spoke sets. Probably here? Yeah, spoke set. Um, this spoke set, probably. And then sidecar seat. I thought we got the seat. Okay, no, we don't. Oh, that's the dashboard. Dashboard. Spoke set. Yeah! That was really close. 
<laughs> oh. Woo. Nice. All right. On to the vintage car. Clean the vintage car as qu quickly as possible. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one. Yeah, we'll wash you. Wash you real good. Mm hmm. Um, okay. Let's go with this one. Right. Yeah. See, this is a part where we need the soap nozzle for these tires. Just instantly cleans them. Rest be gone. Uh. Let's go back to the 15 degree nozzle. Oh, this part we need to get the soap nozzle. Oh, there's a soap part. Um, oh, that's a rusty part. Uh, okay, we're good. Switch back to the 15 degree. Oh, that's definitely uh, rust. Switch back to the fifteen. Okay, we need the soap for the these latches, because I think these latches are metal. Oh god. Back, back to this one. Waste all the soap. So it might be something that we need it for at the end. I don't know. Oh, here we go. This definitely needs it. Um all right. Back to the 15. Is that? Yeah, that is breast. Okay, soap nozzle. Good. Alright, we're out of metal cleaner. It's okay, I think we got all the places we needed to. Let's go back, go to the stubby gun, so we can get a wider area. Oh, uh, here's another probably rusty spot. I'll just use the turbo nozzle, I guess. And that'll be, yep. All right, back to the 15. Cool. Uh, 
turbo nozzle, I guess. is rust, I imagine. What else do we have? What else do we have? What else? Oh, right down here. I see it. Alright, um, I don't know what it is. Bumpers. Probably the other bumper? There we go. Uh, door handles. These door handles need to be good. Oh, does it this door handle? Mm. We might not get this, but that's okay. There we go. Alright, what else? Uh, headlights and horns. Lights. Oh, right there. We still have three tires? What? Is this tire? Uh, there we go. Um, wing mirrors. Oh, I probably didn't get this side. What are the parts? Oh, there, right there. Yeah, we're not gonna get this. We're gonna get the silver. It's the very smallest goal. We should be able to attain, maybe? If I can find these last little bits. Uh. Where is it? Which wing mirror? Ah! Dang it. We almost had that. Yeah, I don't... I don't see it. <laughs> I'm just blind. I don't think I am. I mean, I have glasses, so I'm, I already know I don't have the best head eyesight. Oh. It was this one. Dang it. I'll try this one more time. 
And this will be the the last. <sighs> All right. So I think save the soap for. Well, I don't know. Focus on the mirrors. Uh, what? Why aren't you? Oh, because I don't have the. I was like, why isn't it working? Okay. Alright. So, focus. Let's go to the, the 15 degree nozzle now. Just focus on cleaning this car. That should be good enough soap that we should have gotten rid of all the rust. And also we should have some left over. Oh, yep, there's a spot. Um, Forgot about this moon there in this mirror. Let's go. Get all this part. Is done. Tears complete. care of the this whole thing. Alright, we're doing good I think. Doing pretty good so far.
Good, got that part. Um, got all that. Good. Headlight done. Another headlight done. What else is there? What else is there? I want to at least finish. That's the goal. Uh, okay, let's see what else. Uh, door handles again. Okay. Is that door handle? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, it's that door handle. That door handle. Okay, what else? Uh, horn. One of the horns is still dirty. What the frick? What the heck? Uh, okay, got it. Um, indicators. Which I guess are these? Yep. Okay, now I got the shelf, trunk, and wing mirrors. Trunk should be not too bad. Yep, there we go. Now we gotta get the shelf. So I think this is the shelf, right? Yep, there it is. There's the spots that I missed. There we go. Now the wing mirrors. Spot there. Uh, these mirrors are pain. Okay, got one. Uh, I wonder if that's how it is for all of these. There we go. Which one's the last one? There we go. Woo! Ah, uh, we just barely missed the silver. Dang it. Dang. Oh well. GG. Actually, hold on. Let me look at... It's got octopus gloves. I didn't realize those are a thing. Hmm. Yeah, I could have sworn there was a... They added more... Skins. Could be wrong about that, but. Yeah. But, anyways. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna turn off the music for a minute. While I say goodbye. Alright. <laughs> hello, hello. Um, thank you again for tuning in. Where's my thing? There it is. Okay. Thanks again for tuning in. I appreciate it a lot. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, and like I said, um, or I don't know if I, I might have said it once on stream earlier, but um, if you follow me on Twitter, um, like I said in my tweet, this will be the one stream for this week. Usually I stream uh, two days a week. Um, currently my two days are Thursdays and Fridays around this time or Thursdays usually starting at 7.30, Fridays at 7. Um, but yeah, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, <laughs> yeah, and we'll be resuming next Thursday, uh, 7.30, with another tuba stream. Maybe we'll do some more baseline work, um, baseline stuff like we did earlier in the stream, if you caught that. Um, and then next Friday, we'll probably start, we'll probably do a new game. Don't know what, but we'll probably do a new game. Um, all right. I have an idea of what we can do, but I'll, I'll say it for then. But, yeah, we might do a new game. I don't know, but we'll definitely... Um, the week after, the first week, the first Thursday, Friday of March, probably be cracking into the Final Fantasy 
Midgar um, expansion for Power Wash. That'll be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, but thanks again for tuning in. And you know, thanks, Jonathan. I appreciate it. Um, and I hope you all have a great night. I'll see you next time. Oh, I gotta get to the thing. Um, or oh, I can. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you next time. Bye.